Hi guys. Today we're going to do a flow for the neck and the shoulders. Nice, easy, slow flow. Um, nice and quick too. So maybe you could even add this one to your morning routine um, to help maybe prevent neck and shoulder tension or maybe even alleviate it if it's already found its way in. So let's go ahead and start on our mats. We're not going to be doing a lot of standing in this flow, maybe just like a split second and then we're going to come right back down. So um, starting to really find some grounding in your mat. So crossing the legs. I like to kind of scoop from side to side so I can really feel those sits bones, the pointy parts um, at the bottom of your hip uh, structure. Really digging into the mat, feeling nice and grounded. And then once we feel that grounding, we have that neutral pelvis, we're gonna stack our shoulders directly over top. And then maybe even push our chin and the back of our head towards the back wall, if you have a wall behind you, just backwards. Maybe you can tuck the chin slightly. If you have a block, you can even do all of this sitting on a block and it feels so nice. Um, so you can do the exact same thing, placing the block right underneath you, crossing through the legs, which is going to give you a little more height and length. If you don't have a block, you can use a book, um, but something that's nice and um, firm. We don't want to use like a pillow or a blanket for this because um, that can kind of make our alignment a little wonky since it's not really super structurally solid. So a block or a book, or you can just go without. I'll demonstrate it without, but you can always add that for a little enhancement. So once we have our alignment, we'll begin to close the eyes and just find the breath. Let's take a big clearing breath. So inhaling through the nose, filling up the lungs completely all the way to tip top capacity. And once we can't fill up any more air into the lungs, exhale it out the mouth. One more, inhale. Let it go when you're ready. We'll start to find a more natural breath. I would offer that maybe we think about, at least for the beginning of our practice, making our breath a continuous flow so that we're not sure when the inhale stops, it just leads directly into the exhale. So instead of inhaling and taking it all the way up top, holding it for a split second and then exhaling, let's make our inhales go continuously into the exhale and the exhale continuously into the inhale. Keeping the eyes closed, palms are down on our knees, or maybe you flip the palms up. perhaps coming into an intention for your practice or a dedication, especially if you're doing it first thing in the morning, intentions and setting those daily can be so helpful and powerful. And when you're ready, on an inhale, let's blink the eyes open. And finding somewhere in front of you to gaze. On an inhale, circle, sweep the arms up high, keeping everything in line. Exhale, draw the hands right down to the heart. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, draw the hands back down towards the heart. You can keep the hands here, or maybe you place them at your knees. And on an inhale, take a look to the right and take your gaze with you. Working on mobility here. You can stay right there, or maybe you, on an exhale, look down at the shoulder. And on an inhale, look up to the sky. Continuing those nice, gentle rocks. Waking up the neck. Keeping your breath strong and controlled. And come into a neutral neck. A 
as we exhale, we'll look over to the left side. Take your gaze with you. And you can find those up and down motions, looking down at the shoulder, and then up to the sky, if you took it on the other side. And find that neutral neck placement again as you exhale, we'll come back to center. On an inhale, circle sweep the arms up high and we'll interlace the fingers. Draw those palms down to the back of the head. And as you exhale, press the back of the head into the hands. And with a little bit of tension from the hands coming into the head, see if you can take the head back, opening up the throat, but with support from the hands. So we're pressing the, the head back into the hands. And as we exhale, we'll take the opposite, press the hands into the head, and that'll bring our, our um, chin down into our chest. Nice and gentle. Once you get there, you can use the hands to help you maybe sway the head from side to side, gentle, gentle motions. Find a neutral neck. Exhale, let's take it one more time. Press that head back into the hands. Open up the throat. Exhale, press the hands to the back of the head. Drop the chin. You can find some of those gentle movements if it felt nice. And exhale, the head back up to neutral. Release the grip, draw the hands down to the side. On an inhale, circle, sweep the hands back up high. Exhale, we'll look to the right, taking a twist, twisting at the core. The left hand can rest on the right, but we're not gonna stay. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, right hand comes to the left knee. I'm just beginning to find those twists on your own. Inhale to reach up, exhale to find your twist. Inhale, reach back up, and exhale to find your twist. Nice, gentle movements. Warming up the spine, the core, the chest, the neck, the shoulders. And coming back to center. This time, reach up and over the feet. We'll come into an all fours position, so tabletop. Tracking our shoulders directly over our wrists. Our knees are directly under our hips. We'll find some cat and calf, so engage through the core, lift the pelvic floor, and on an inhale, we'll drop the belly down a little and lift the chin. And as you exhale, tuck that chin and find some arc in the back, tucking the tailbone underneath. Inhale, coming back to your cat. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cat. And exhale. Okay. And coming into our neutral spine on an inhale, send the right palm up high. You can look at it, maybe even circle through the wrist. And exhale, thread the needle, right hand comes under that left arm, come onto the shoulder for a nice shoulder stretch. You can keep the left hand planted for a little extra support. Or if you'd like to get more into the shoulder, you can reach that arm up high, maybe even float it around or take a half bind taking the hand to the hip crease on the right side. Where's your breath? As you inhale, send the left arm back up if you've taken it for a rest. Plant the left palm down. Inhale to reach up and out of our pose. Exhale back down to our all fours. We'll go ahead and move right onto the opposite side. Inhale, left arm comes up. Maybe roll out the wrist. You did it on the other side. And exhale, thread the needle. Left arm comes under the right. Same options as before to keep the palm there for support or float it up or find the bind. Nice strong breath. If 
if you've taken a bind on an inhale, you can start to unwind. Exhale to draw the palm to the floor. And on an inhale, we'll all reach that left arm up and out around. And exhale, come to our all fours. We'll find that cat and cow again. On an inhale, find your cow. And this time as we're there, we're gonna nod our head yes. Exhale through your cow and shake the head no. Finding our neutral spine before we transition to the next one. Inhale into our cow and nod that head yes. Finding that neutral neck. Exhale to cow and shake the head no. Go ahead and come into that neutral spine again. Sit back on the heels for a child's pose. Draw the forehead to the mat. So many options you can take here. I'll show you a few and we can settle into one. You can draw the palms um, together and take them right behind the nape of the neck, pressing the triceps down into the mat. You can reach the palms ar uh, around and grab onto the heels while the forehead's to the mat. If you'd like a shoulder stretch, you can reach those hands behind you and interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders back and maybe even pull them up and over the head. If you'd like a little extra, you can even come on to the crown of the head, being so careful and gentle on the neck if we do that. We'll breathe here for at least five. So go ahead and pick where you'd like to rest and restore. On your next inhale, we'll come back up to our all fours. Go ahead and move the hands, a handprint in front of where they were. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, and find your downward facing dog. You can take some time to walk out your dog, bending one knee and then the other, pressing the heels into the mat. You can even take some shoulder rolls or some neck rolls, yes, of the nose with the head. Asking your body what it needs and then providing that. And when you're ready, we'll start to slowly walk the feet up to the hands at the top of the mat. Keep the knees nice and bent so you can wrap those arms around the back of the thighs. Allow the head to hang heavy. Big breaths. And release the hands to the mat. And then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we will roll up and find our mountain pose. And once you get there, on an inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Take it again, inhale to roll up. And exhale to roll back. Let's reverse it. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and around. And exhale, roll them down. So now we're taking them, what is it, counterclockwise? And finding a neutral spine. On an inhale, we're going to lift the right arm up. And go ahead and wrap it around the head. Bring the palm around to the opposite side. And as we exhale, use your hand to help you draw your right ear to the right shoulder nice and gently. We're not pressing. We're just encouraging. Hold the core in nice and tight. Check the alignment, check the posture. Exhale to release and take the head back to neutral. Inhale, sweep both arms up high. Interlace the fingers. 
And as we exhale, draw them to the back of the head. We're gonna do the same thing we did in sitting. As we inhale, press the hands back with the head. Open up the throat. Exhale, allow the hands to press the head back. Chin comes to chest. Once our chin is tucked, start to roll through the vertebra all the way into a forward fold. You can bend the knees if you'd like. And once you're all the way down, you can release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Create lots of length here, pulling the crown of the head away from the shoulders and the shoulders away from the hips. Exhale, fold. On an inhale, we'll begin to slowly roll up, stacking one vertebra on top of the other, finding our mountain pose again. Inhale, sweep the left arm up high. Exhale, wrap it around the head to the right side of the temple, and as you exhale again, take the left ear to left shoulder. Our hand is just there for encouragement. Our bellies are pulled in nice and tight. Our shoulders are stacked right over our hips and our breath is flowing. And exhale, release that grip. Come back to a neutral spine. Inhale, sweep the palms up high. Interlace those fingers once you get there. And as you exhale, draw them to the back of the head. We're just going to take this one more time. Inhale, press the head back. Open the throat. Exhale, head comes forward, chin tucks. Once you're fully tucked, start to roll down one vertebra at a time into your forward fold, bending the knees as you need. Once you find yourself fully folded, release the hands. Inhale, lift up halfway, find that length. And exhale, fold. Shift the weight into the palms. We'll step the feet back to a high plank. Shift forward a little and then lower the knees to the mat. As you exhale, keep the elbows hugged in nice and tight. Lower all the way down to the mat. I'm not sure if you can see me anymore. On an inhale, let me scoot back a little. Go ahead and take the, the feet mat distance apart. Keep those palms right underneath you. We'll take a cobra. On an inhale, lift up through the heart. Draw the elbows back in together. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Gaze off the tip of the nose. And as you exhale, lower back down to the mat. We'll take the fingertips about six inches away at a diagonal, and we'll find a, um, a extended cobra. So on an inhale, lift the heart, and you can come into straight arms here if it feels nice. Gazing off the tip of the nose, keeping the neck neutralized with the spine, deep breaths. Exhale to lower. Go ahead and create a little pillow with your forearms and rest your chin upon your forearms. Bend the knees and windshield wiper them from side to side, releasing the low back. And one arm at a time, we'll reach around to grab hold of the feet. And when you're ready, on an inhale, We'll lift the thighs off the mat and the chest can come too. Nice little shoulder stretch. Push those feet into the hands and push the hands right back into the feet. Inhale to take it a little higher if it feels nice. Exhale to lower. Go ahead and send those hands under the chest. We'll push back into a child's pose. So this time, we can take it with wide knees. Our knees can come to the outsides of the mat. Big toes come together, forehead to the mat. Use this as an opportunity to revisit your breath. Revisit that intention if you set one. You can roll the forehead on the mat from side to side, massage out the forehead, that frontal lobe. Awaken the third eye. And on an inhale, keep the legs right where they're at. We're going to walk the hands up and stack the shoulders over top of our hips. Pull the core in nice and tight. On an inhale, circle sweep the arms up high. 
And as we exhale, we're gonna goddess out through the hands. So drawing the elbows together, the shoulder blades kiss. Inhale to take it back up. Exhale, find those goddess arms. You should really feel this in your shoulders. Next time we'll go all the way down, interlace the fingers. On an inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. Maybe even lift the hearts. If you'd like to feel a little more in the shoulders, you can begin to draw those hands down and then away from the body. Breath. Our gaze is up. Or maybe our eyes are closed. And exhale, go ahead and release the hands. On an inhale, send the arms out wide. And as we exhale, right bicep's gonna tuck under left. Give yourself a big hug. Squeeze onto the scapulas, right onto the shoulder blades. And you can stay right here. Or if you'd like a little extra shoulder stretch, we can find our eagle arms. So our right bicep stays under the left. And then we'll work to cross again, connecting the palms or maybe the back of the palms. Once you find your bind, draw those elbows in line with the shoulders and then take them away. And if you'd like a little more, reach the fingertips up to, to the sky. Let's quit. take a clearing breath. Inhale through the nose. Let it go out the mouth. On your next exhale, go ahead and release your bind, reach the arms out wide. We'll take side B. So this time we'll give ourselves a big hug with the left arm on the bottom. Squeeze it in, really mean it. And you can stay right here or find the eagle arms on left side as well. Left arm is gonna be stay under the right. And see if you can connect again. Line up the elbows with the shoulders then tug them away from the body. And then maybe we even press the fingertips up towards the sky. We'll find a clearing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. We're working on our focus and our breath. No matter the circumstance, no matter the distraction, stay focused with helicopters going overhead. Exhale your bind, take your arms back out wide. Let's go ahead and draw the hands down to the thighs. A slight tuck of the chin. Find your alignment. Find your breath. Find your intention. Draw the palms together at heart center. Draw the thumbs to the space between the brows, right at the third eye and press. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.